But life is just so much easier if you just try to surround yourself with love, love everyone, and have people that love you back. Hi friends, so today I don't really want to make a ranty video or a fuckery video like how my channel is going right now. Because Tuesday I reached 4,000 subscribers and I realized that's a fucking lot of people. And it didn't really make an appreciation video for 3,000, I, I just dyed my fucking hair. So if it's okay with you, I wanted to make a more, you know, talking life video because we all know I'm all about talking about life. And I just want you guys to know I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and I'm probably not gonna cry because I don't show emotion on video for some reason. I didn't cry for a hundred, I didn't cry for a thousand, haven't cried at all. But I hope that doesn't diminish how appreciated I am of you guys because, I mean, you make this whole channel what it is. And I didn't know that people could tell my emotions through my videos, but looking back, you can easily see when I'm happy and when I'm not happy in life. And lately, I've been very happy, and I know that shows on camera because you guys tell me that. Anyways, enough of the sappy stuff, Frederick. Here are 16 things I've learned in 16 years. If you're in school, don't forge your parents' signature when filling out forms or field trips. I know you kids really get annoyed with their parents, and I was like this too. Where they're just not around, and you're like, they're gonna be okay with it, let me write my signature out. Just, just don't, because people will find out. Just don't do it! Don't try to use Nair, the hair removing cream, as a way to fix your eyebrows. This is speaking from personal experience if you can't tell. Also, black eyeshadow is an amazing way to fill in the spaces in your eyebrows, and no one's gonna notice. Unless you do like this, and then yeah, you're gonna wipe it off. Always look at forms carefully, as in double check it. If there's a word you don't know, look it up. Because sometimes you'll check a box, and then you'll lose 28% of the money you earn. If you're Asian, or you just have a mono lid, don't cry right before you go to sleep. You'll wake up with double eyelids and it's uncomfortable as fuck. And people are gonna think you're sick. Try to believe in something or at least have faith in the world. This is a touchy subject and I'm not trying to offend anyone here. But I just feel like believing in something makes you, you know, happier and look forward to something throughout your day, even if it's a horoscope. And don't judge people for having a religion because it's their faith. Give them something to believe in, alright? Sometimes faith is all you have left, so shut up. Try to be as open-minded in life as possible. You get so much less anger if you just try to look at both sides. Oh. Um, maybe that was a bit too soon? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't come for me. But if you look at other people's opinions and try to understand them and their beliefs, you'll get much less angry. We all learn differently, we all believe in different things. Sometimes you believe in something different from another person, but just because you don't believe in it doesn't diminish the validity of their opinion. But if it's bullshit, call it out. If it's late at night and you have a light in your room, like what I'm doing right now, bugs will come in, no matter how much you fucking seal up that window. Just have a cup and a card ready because you're gonna have to take some bugs outside. You're gonna make some buggy friends along the way. Always try to think twice about something, whether it's a decision or something you see. This can be taken seriously, but because it's me, I want you guys to turn everything into a conspiracy. Is that really grass I'm looking at, or is it an alien? Is my whole life an experiment? Are we in the matrix? If you're one of these people, I can vibe with you so well. I'd say this trick works 9 times out of 10, but if you feel an upcoming question from a teacher and you know you're not gonna know the answer, just put your head down and just write random stuff because the teacher most likely will think you're taking notes and he or she will just go on to another student. But if you do get called on, boy you better put on that bullshit game. Don't be ashamed about liking games or being a gamer. So many people are bullied about in school and I just disagree with that 100%. To me, games are just like going on social media. It's an escape from real life you interact with people, and it does help with hand-eye coordination. Also, your childhood is most likely the time when you play games. For people who aren't gamers, just zone out for a second. Every time I hear Pokemon or MapleStory music, I get so emotional and nostalgic because it brings back those happy memories of me as a child and just, you know, living life and not having to worry about school, college, drop, blah, 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 blah. The list goes on and on, and it's just like, you don't have to worry about stuff, besides beating, you know, a trainer. So the next time someone tries to call you out for being a gamer, just take that anger out by shooting someone in the game. We'll all be happy. If you're in some hot ass sun, I'm, I'm talking Florida or California, don't wear a tank top or take a rubber band and give yourself a makeshift tank top like this. You will have the weirdest tan line for six months. Also, put sunscreen on even if you don't burn like me. When I was in Florida for frisbee camp, I tanned so much 
that I couldn't fucking recognize myself in the mirror because I couldn't recognize my own face. That's how dark it was. You can go back to the old videos because it is a bad time. If you're going to the airport, don't pack things that are flammable or could look like drugs. You will be detained for a long ass time. <laughs> Try to remember that the people you interact with are human too. I've forgotten this too many times, but if your parents or your friends are emotional or being sad or angry or etc. and you can't figure out why, just say, hey, they're human and move on. Being human is enough to explain why they're feeling that way, so shut up and fucking move on. If you're Asian or just a person of color, and for me specifically, if you're Asian and you have lychee jelly, do not Oh my god, do not give your friends those snacks. They will spit it out, they will think it's like the food from Satan himself. They won't understand foreign snacks at all. If you like lychee jelly, please say it in the comments because that shit is... Do not put glue on your face and then put random shit on it. It will break you out. I feel like a lot of this video is just me roasting myself. And lastly, this is cheesy for me at least, but the only lesson that I really want you guys to know is that everything is less than three. Which if you're new here, that is my outro, and a lot of people just don't understand what it means. Less than three, this, equals a heart, because you write it up. Do I have to explain? And this can be interpreted in many ways, you can make your own. But life is just so much easier if you just try to surround yourself with love, love everyone, and have people that love you back. I know it's hard to do because there are some really ignorant people in the world, but it never hurts to try. And always give second chances as well, that's another lesson. And I know there's a limit to loving everyone, and I've broken that limit one time, I think. We were in New York City, and it was very late at night, and this bus driver refused to pick my family up because we were Asian. And we found out it was that reason because when he came back 20 minutes later with more people on the bus, he admitted to it. And he made my sister very angry and she freaked out on him and I did not want to see that and I was very young at that time. But just want to let that person know that I hope God strikes you with lightning and your crops burn in hell. Anyways, that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and thank you again for 4,000 subscribers. And subscribe because I post videos every Saturday. Holy shit, I forgot to say that. I love you guys and everything is less than three. These videos are getting so much fucking longer to do because I have to script all of this.